Here's exactly how to fix this issue of the Epic Games Launcher Setup Wizard ending prematurely. Start by opening the Start menu and searching up Task Manager. Press Enter or click on the search result to open the Task Manager. Now what we want to do is stop any instance related to Epic Games, and we can do that easily by ending this task that is Epic Games Launcher. Select it and click on End Task and you'll notice they all disappear. But just to be sure, let's search up Epic on this search box to see if anything shows up. If not, we can close the Task Manager and move on. Next, open up the File Explorer and click on This PC, then click and open your local disk C. Then double-click and open Program Files x86. Here you'll find this folder called Epic Games. Go ahead and delete it. Now open your browser and search up Epic Games Download. Then click on and open this first link that is the download page. Then click on this download button and the installer will start being downloaded. Once it's done, you can open the downloads folder and run the installer. Here, you'll be met with this screen and two options to repair and remove any Epic-related installs. Click on the Remove option, and on this page, click on Remove again. Once it's done doing its thing, the installer will close itself. Now just open your Downloads folder and run the installer again. This time, hopefully, you'll be able to install Epic Games with no issues. If all that didn't work, another solution is to download Epic Games through the Microsoft Store. This has been proven to work for a lot of people. Before we begin, we'll have to use the installer to remove all Epic Games related files. Otherwise, the Microsoft Store will not let you install Epic Games. Once that's done, open the Start menu and open up the Microsoft Store. Then search for Epic Games. You should see the results show up. Click on it to go to its download page. Click on the Install button to begin. It will take a while, but the installation should go smoothly. Once it's done, you should see the installed button grayed out. Now you can just use the desktop shortcut or search Epic Games on the Start menu to open it.